Hello everyone and welcome to this video series where we draw or create isometric drawings using our standard tools using our pencil, scale or ruler, set squares, a protractor, compass and eraser and a sharpener. Now today we are going to create isometric angles and non-isometric lines. So let's say a part is given to you like this so the front view is given to you the length of the part is 80 millimeters i don't know why i like 80 millimeters i just keep on doing 80 millimeters for everything the height of that part is 50 millimeters and the height of one of the sides is 27 millimeters and then there's a chamfer it's at 35 degrees to the horizontal now those are the things that are given to us and we have to draw an isometric view of this part here then what we are going to do is we don't know this distance or we don't know this distance here as well so what we can do here is and again when we convert the isometric angle so from this standard orthographic view if we convert it to an isometric view the 35 degrees is not going to stay as 35 degrees so what are we going to do there are a couple of things that we can do we know this 27 we know this 80 we know this 50 let's start creating our isometric view or isometric drawing based on the information that we have except the angles let's use the dimensions given to us and then create the isometric drawing we'll come to this how to tackle an angle which is not 30 degree or 45 degree or 90 degree or even 120 for that matter so here let's create a horizontal line Let's create a point now last time i started the video saying that we won't need two lines at 30 degrees but this time i'm not going to make that mistake again i am going to create 30 degree lines in both directions so that's one and then that's the other one so here the length is 80 so we are going to create a line which is 80 millimeters in length here so let's create a line at 30 degree angle to the horizontal which is 80 millimeters in length yeah and then we can also create this length which is 50 millimeters and this at 27 so again let's create two lines one at 90 degree from this point and then one at 120 degrees to this line at 30 degree from this end point here that will give us the vertical line so first of all let's create this line which is 50 millimeters okay and this line here is 27 millimeters so let's create that 27 millimeters here so i'm starting at 80 so 10 20 5 27 it'll end here now that's the information that we have right now we don't know this or we don't know this where this point is and again we cannot use this angle of 35 so what we can do is we can just take our scale measure this length now here fortunately for us this is 35 millimeters now it could have been any other it could have been any other angle or any other dimension as in length and then we'll have to transfer that over here but here when we measure it this is 35 millimeters so what we are going to create is a line which is 35 millimeters in length but here the angle would be parallel to or that line would be parallel to this line here and the angle included angle here would be 60 so let's create that angle first so that's that's the line which will be parallel to this line and we have to create it at 35 millimeters so i'll create that line at 35 millimeters so again whatever this would have come up to we need to use that same here so this was 80 millimeters this is 50 millimeters this is 27 millimeters 
now this angle again it won't be same as 35 but if we take care of this line here which is 35 we can tackle the non-isometric angles as in uh, the non-isometric angles are which so your isometric lines are going at 30 degrees 90 degrees this is also 30 and if you look at it here like this the angle between these two is 120 degrees here is also 120 degrees and the same thing here this is 120 degrees as well so except these this is a 35 degree angle which does not fit in any of the isometric angles that's why we have to create it like this and then we can just join it using a scale now we don't know what is the length of this line and it will not be the same so this here is 57 millimeters but this here is more than 57 and the only reason for that is the angle of 35 which is not standard one and again any angle will be different so then next what we need to do is we need to create that 10 centimeter thickness so it goes up here 10 centimeter thickness here And then joining the dots so this becomes about 35 millimeters so that's how you create isometric angles for non-isometric and non-isometric lines in an isometric drawing. Thank you all and I'll see you in the next video.